John, oh, it's wow. my chair. You like it? Or? This one's a little wobbly. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I like this chair. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> a little good stretch there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at the bottom of our shoes. This is exactly what viewers want to see. They yeah. I always wondered about the bottoms of our shoes. Well, this seat is perfect for it to show off. Yeah. Like this great yeah. view of there. Well, what should we do an episode about? Let's just be spontaneous. Okay. All right. Blah, 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 like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> a little yes. more meaningful. Maybe a little bit more meaning behind it. Maybe an episode about a spontaneousness. The importance of spontaneousness. Yeah. And in relationships and in in life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is very important. We've touched on that a little bit before. Just very briefly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, we didn't introduce ourselves. Uh, yeah. I'm John. And I'm John. Welcome to the Heimer. Yeah, I think this is the Heimer, right? Yeah, this is the Heimer. The Heimer Show. <laughs> <laughs> what, too spontaneous? <laughs> uh, they caught me off guard and I wanted to say something else like, welcome to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our first uh, filming at the grocery store. Yeah. Here comes the manager. <laughs> Ooh, quick. That would fun. <laughs> yeah. Do like a a spontaneous setup real quick and try to... Yeah, like cereal boxes or something. Podcast in the night, like 14. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a fun idea. Yeah. All right, well, spon spontaneity? That's, spontaneity? Is that the word? I that's a word, so. right? Yeah, that sounds about right. In our relationships. You do some of that in your relationship, John? I mean... I really don't think so. Not much. I wouldn't time. consider it... <sighs> I think there's a there's a, a point of where everybody would say, "Oh, that's spontaneous." Um, I don't do any of that. I do spontaneous things for the norm, from the norm. Mm -hmm. But you're planning them. It is planned, isn't it? Right. Yeah. right. You know what? Last night we almost did something super spontaneous. What were you gonna do? We were going to okay, story time here. So back in college, it was Halloween. And it was daylight savings time. Uh, so my wife and I were out and about celebrating Halloween. And we came back and we decided that we were hungry. But it was almost 3 o'clock. Like, oh, shoot. Every, all the pizza places were closing at 3. Mm -hmm. like, well, it was the fall, so we fell back an hour. So we got to relive 2 o'clock. And we were able to order a pizza. Because it was 2 o'clock and not 3 o'clock. Um, so last night we kind of wanted to recreate that. We were in bed, it was one o'clock, we were up talking, and we are like, let's order a pizza. Hmm. But the only place that was open was a place that we didn't really, not a big fan of. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a fun idea that I, I realize this is planning, but to do something like that around the time change or like things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, but you're a very thoughtful planning, thinking kind of person. That's like, true. You probably never just found yourself naked, rollerblading down the middle of Kirkwood in Bloomington. Mm, you know, no, not that I can remember. No. Yeah. Right. See, some people view spontaneous acts as kind of, there's an association as being sort of wild or, you know, oof flamboyantly interesting and stuff. But it doesn't have to be that way, does it? Right. There's a love there's a it's a sliding scale, right? Yeah. Um but your partner can, likes new things and likes to try new things. Yeah, she a, does. A little bit more than you do mm -hmm. overall. So when you try to are you trying to kind of match your partners? I think it was um feel like maybe in high school I was a lot more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. um, we would uh, late at night randomly get a text from a group of friends that would say, meet me at a park. 
see me in the meadow because it was like Butterfly Meadow or something. Hmm. Uh, we even made shirts called Meet Me in the Meadow. And so we would just go there at like, I mean, it was past when the park was closed, which was kind of the, the fun part of it. Like, ooh, we're gonna get in trouble. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to relive that because that was actually kind of fun to do something really spontaneous like that where you're just kind of like on the couch one day and or one hour and then 15 minutes later you're having fun at a park mm -hmm. when you think yeah. you're about to go to bed type stuff. Right, right. There's something about our lives that conditions us away from that, right? Like we're pretty different when we're, I know you're a bit younger than me, but as you age you... You, it's almost like most people stop taking some of those chances and tr and being as spontaneous as they are when they're younger. Yeah, why is that? I mean, Do some of us start getting being in a rut or something. Yeah, maybe it's just like a little bit of it's wisdom. At some point, you think like this is a bad idea for certain things. <laughs> That's or, great. Like, don't go to the park on the curfew because you could actually. Right, maybe something like that. Yeah. Um, but sometimes not. I don't know. Like, I, yeah, it'd be good to be more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't know. But I think whatever people like to do is fine. I mean, I mean, this is what we were talking about earlier about being, like, keeping it interesting and stuff like that. Yeah, keeping oh. things. Oh, hey. Okay. Sorry, hey. are you guys in the middle? No, we're just we're just talking about things. Oh, I would just spontaneously wanted to come and hang out. Is that join okay? us? Join us. Hey, check out my new sweatshirt. I, Where did you get that? Shoe up there? No. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Is it okay if I just sit right here? Sure. What are you guys talking about? Well, just kind of. The no, like, well, like no. currently, yeah. yeah. We were talking oh. about. I can't figure this out. This oh, oh, no. genius. No. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about me. Do you need a shoe? No, I can't. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There this we go. This is kind of fun. It's like musical chairs. I wasn't expecting that. I do not hear any music. Oh, wait, we need a chair. The producers will hopefully add that into the episode, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be inside of Mackenzie's head. Whoa. <laughs> That's a scary thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Forgot what we were talking about, but oh. how do you uh, keep the spontaneous? Well, I don't know. I guess. I like to, I don't know if this is considered spontaneous, but I like to see what events are going on around town. Mm -hmm. And I do plan ahead, I guess, a little bit, but I write them on the calendar just in hopes that we'll go to them. Like if there's a concert in the park, I often just hope that we'll end up there. Yeah, see, there's a definitely a, a scale of spontaneity. Yeah, but that's like in hopes of spontaneity. Yeah. <laughs> do you wish that, this is very personal, do you wish John was more spontaneous? Yes. Yeah, um, I know and, that. And then, yeah. and, but to you, John, sometimes Mackenzie probably feels a little bit too much that way, right? Like, always wanting to do everything all the time, like just run around. And, does it feel like that, or? Uh, I don't know. And maybe I'm just coming to the realization now about this, but my definition of spontaneous is at the exact moment you're doing one thing and you decide to go do something completely different that is a lot more effort put into. Um, like I was talking about being on the couch, thinking about going to bed, but instead going to the park. Yeah, I guess that's more the typical definition of it. Mm -hmm. But you, both of you two are kind of planners in, in a mm -hmm. certain way. You think a lot and you yeah. think things ahead and you, you too, but you often even write things down and everything. Yeah, too. and I would say I suggest more things like going out for ice cream or going mm -hmm. out to eat or going for a walk. And John typically doesn't like being thrown things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I do definitely have my day 
the expectations I set for the day, mm-hmm. and those things, if those expectations get broken, it breaks me. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. when she asks me if I want to go do something, it takes me forever to even like think about like, oh, well, okay. Yeah, I guess yeah. we could do that. You know what, Mackenzie, what we ought to do is we ought to do mystery drives with John. Ooh. We should, like, like you and I coordinate, and then I come and pick you guys up. Like, not quite blindfolded. Not literally blindfolded, but, like... With a plan of being spontaneous. So yes. that he's not expecting to do something else then. Right, right. But yeah. he doesn't know what we're going to choose to do. Maybe we don't yeah. even know what we're going to choose to do, but we know that we're going to be spontaneous that day. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And just like, and he's got to do whatever craziness that is. How about right now we do that? Wait, where's John? Oh. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, no, it's great. Okay. Can, yeah, that's a good looking haircut. Okay. Yeah, we should. Right, I'm serious. Let's do it. Let's well, do it. Let's, would, would, that, would that would that make you feel anxious uh, and bothered a lot to just be like? I can see like, his eyes <laughs> like that. Yeah, you all can see his pupils dilated, like larger than his. He's kind of like sweating a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of hot in here. I didn't take off my sweater before it went, though. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um. <clears throat> I think that's fine, as long as I'm not working on the bathroom. Okay. Like, currently, I'm working on the bathroom. <laughs> Who are you of talking remodel. to? <laughs> <laughs> on the bathroom, and I would like to get that done. So what would so you So not do next weekend. Probably not next weekend, unless it's like after five, and there I go planning again. So he's not expecting it next weekend. Okay. So, <laughs> so we may or may though. not. <laughs> you're okay with me being a little sweaty. So basically, anyway. you should just always be on edge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh. <clears throat> so Jacob, we haven't talked about your spontaneousness. Mm, don't be that spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> oh yeah, but I forgot about me. Um, well, you getting comfy there, John? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, you're, you're in there, dude. Um, I, I like to plan. I like to do weird things, and I'm open to trying new things, but I like to know ahead of time, usually. It doesn't have to be a lot of time ahead, but, you know. So that's why you suggested that we know what's going on, mm-hmm. and John doesn't. Yeah. What if Lacey and I both planned something and neither of you knew? Does that make you sweat a little bit? I like that. Okay. It's kind of. Yeah. I like that. I think we should do this next weekend at 5. <laughs> <laughs> right at 5. <laughs> right at 5. Saturday or Sunday. Either day. We'll no, see. no, don't announce any times. <laughs> After I 5. Like it might Maybe be Friday night. Night. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Wednesday or Ooh, something. Maybe not no. Wednesday. No. Oh, no, no. I have a birthing class. It's planned. <laughs> so, I'm birthing. I you said birthing. <laughs> <laughs> Back on top of the top of the <laughs> Thank you, John. Being spontaneous is important. To keep life interesting and not just doing the mundane things all the time. Why is it bad to be on a schedule? Why is it bad? I don't think it's bad to be on schedule, but I feel like life just wouldn't be as interesting. Like, you need things to excite you and to make you... I mean, I guess you can be happy without spontaneity, but I don't know. I feel like it's just essential to really being happy. Doing new things. Experiencing new things. Even if you plan it, but doing new things, is that still considered spontaneity or no? Yeah, are you planning like a vacation six months out? Oh, it's oh, a oh, spontaneous oh. decision to plan the vacation. I have a question. So that... Would you guys ever go to the airport and just <laughs> choose Ugh. like a random location and Ooh. go? Like the FBI is after you and you got to get there oh, quick. No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can make that choice, sure. You yeah. can do that? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I could probably do that. I probably could 
do you think you would enjoy it as much as like looking forward to the trip and planning out your meals and all the yes. activities you're going to do? Would it be as exciting? You know what? I mean, this is my wife and family. We went on a trip to Denver. <laughs> And that was spontaneous. That was spontaneous. Completely. And we completely had no idea what we were going to do there. We, didn't know what we, were gonna we do. said the first thing you see <laughs> that you want to do, we're going to go do it. And we took turns. And that was so much fun. That was, yeah, that yeah. was great. And we weren't expecting to really like that trip because mm-hmm. it was super touristy, but yeah. it was like one of my favorite trips we've ever gone on. Yeah, it was. And like, since we didn't plan anything, it was so chill. It's like, okay, what do you want to do next? Mm-hmm. Let's go mini golfing. Okay. And there was no expectation. So Did you have like, a lodging plan? We oh, got man. the last yeah. room yeah. available. Someone had just backed out, and we got in. You just so you yeah, just this was in the fall. In. This was in the fall. Uh-huh. No, we oh, didn't we want booked it. it two nights before. Like two nights before. Uh huh. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. And it's like so crowded in the fall, so it's usually booked up. Yeah. And we just looked to see if there was anything available, and we got it. And yeah. you were okay with all that arrangement. You were mm, okay. Not at first, no. Not at first, no. <laughs> you liked it but I, from I, the beginning. You liked all of that, right? Wait, what? Did, what did, did, you you, did you like that for overall? You didn't feel anxious about it. It stressed me out a little bit when he first suggested it, but then I was excited. I really wanted to do something for the fall. Yeah. Because I mean, she had fall break, mm-hmm. so I could take time off, and I wanted to do something. Well... Mackenzie, do you wish that John was more spontaneous in your relationship? I do. Mm-hmm. So it's a good thing to talk about these things. No, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with how spontaneous John is, but that could be fun to you, try. And you would, you don't want her to be more spontaneous I than she like already I, is. I think she is enough spontaneous. I, <laughs> I, need, to work, I need to work on my own spontaneity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do um, I need to chillax on my that's, we're fine. I think we're balanced, really. Yeah, good balance. Yeah. yeah. But I think you just need my spontaneity. Because I, like, spit out ideas, and then I just get rejected a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, huh. Do you feel like Lacey is spontaneous? Um, yes. She, I think she is more than me, in really? some ways, yeah. And very willing to go with things. Yeah, I can see that. She wants to do things, wants to be out and about doing things. And Mm -hmm. I generally do too, but I like to have a little bit of planning, just a dash. Kind of like what you were saying at the start of a day, I like to have some sort of idea of what I'm doing that day. Mm -hmm. I can picture her saying, let's do all the things. (laughs) (laughs) I think she says that phrase. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Right. Well, but I think I would like that kind of stuff, like basically just jumping in a car and going somewhere or doing something like, like next weekend, I don't even know what I'm doing, but like things like that, like I would be mostly okay with. Mm -hmm. Um, I know um, one time, maybe eight years ago or something, um, the boys and I took their mom literally blindfolded on a trip into Southern Indiana um, and that's where I, I had bought a house without telling her about it. So, I, <laughs> so we were sort of unveiling that house to her um, for the first time. Did that go over well? It did. Oh, good. It did. Yeah, she liked Ooh. that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that's good. I think that we all need to just be like doing more of that. Just more. I think oddities, even if it's a little bit slightly contrived I I think of it as like almost like that research that says even a fake laugh is better than no laugh for your body like Mm -hmm. I think even a little bit of contrived being purposefully being a little spontaneous you know like just going for things a little bit just flying by the seat of your pants I think is really good not in a dangerous kind of way but in a safe way you probably grow a lot from doing that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And it probably sets off endorphins that make you just feel good. But why don't we do more of it? If, if we, if we're kind of, it sounds like we're saying, the three of us are saying that it's good for us, then... Yeah. Maybe it's out of the comfort zone. Yeah. It's just a, yeah, I think it is a comfort zone thing. Even when I suggest things to him sometimes, I secretly don't want to do those things. 
Like maybe I. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> That's a bit. Like Whoa. I suggest a walk, and I don't want to go on the walk. I'd rather sit there and watch TV. But I'm like, well, maybe we should do that. And then he says no, and kind of like relieved a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little psychotic. You know? <laughs> But Maybe you should try that, John. I home. should try that. You should be like, hey. I'm going to have an expectation that I'm going to walk. I'm not going to tell her. And so then I'll feel good about it. But then we kind of have to go on it. I would say yes, I think. You would, she would say yes. I think she would say yes to anything that I would suggest. <laughs> well, I, there's, I should make it a goal of mine to one day oh, yeah. make her say no to something. Else. Yeah. Yeah. And not something like. Let's go to Europe. I well, she'd probably say yes to that. Um, or something weird, but something normal like a walk. Like no, mm-hmm. just no. Yeah. Try yeah. to find where that line is. Mm-hmm. I think that's I like a that great challenge. activity for you to mess with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see how yeah. many things you can get suckered into. Yeah, I think this is just her <laughs> living her life. <laughs> right. Yeah. Why well, is this all about her needs? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, marriage, John. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's a good spot to end <laughs> No, so not yet. Yeah. That's so spontaneous. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how long this is going <laughs> I thought that was just our intro. Wait, now we're just going to talk about it. Okay, now we're going to get into it. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. The topic is how to grocery shop. Okay, okay, but seriously, before we stop, how about one, we're going to go share a meal together with a group of other friends and family. Mm -hmm. What is something spontaneous that the three of us can do during that meal just to mess with everybody else? Go. Feed each other. Oh, that was my idea. That's great. (laughs) Tell us more, how? Um, So I'm going to reach over to you at some point and grab your spoon and give you some soup, and then take your bread and wipe your mouth with it. <laughs> awesome. Is that all? Or... Um, John, do you want to like be a part of while I'm doing that? Like you wipe his face with the bread, or do you want to do it a separate time? I mean, that's fine. Do your idea. I think we should at least just change seats where we're sitting. Oh, like bring our food? Mm-hmm. So when we when one of us stands up, then we'll all stand up and just switch. Okay, we can do something. Does that count as spontaneous if we're planning it? Okay, I think it's gonna help them out. We're helping them yeah, out. Yeah, that's so true. That's a okay. good way of thinking of it. Mm-hmm. But let's have... also do the other things that we're not gonna say out loud right now. Yes. but we're thinking about. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I like this. All right, that should be clear. Put in the comments what you think we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> In real time, like now, <laughs> even though this video is not posted. So that we can get the next ideas. Time. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, <laughs> thanks Great for episode. watching, everybody. Yeah. Um, we appreciate all the support, mm-hmm. all the comments below. As always, thank you to our executive producer, Schmidt. Yes. And, and I'd also like to put in a special thanks to the Lacey Estates for hosting this event. The Lacey Estates is very generous and kind. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thanks for coming on, Mackenzie. Mm-hmm. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for watching. See you.